Robot ears, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. The world final. And immediately on the attack, it's Razor. With the beak and Behemoth with the scoop. The two most dangerous weapons we've seen throughout these world championships. The scoop raises and drops. In on the attack again comes Razor, flipped up on its side. Now it can use that beak to right itself if it can get away from the clutches of Behemoth, which is pinning Razor down on the floor at the moment. Razor desperately trying to get some sort of claw hold on the arena floor, but this is good steering and controlled aggression from the Pritchard boys and Kane Aston in that Behemoth team. Matilda comes in as well. Now you can see the wings on the beak, as it were, as Razor flips itself up, comes on the attack. Turned over once again, though. And worry here for Simon Scott and Vincent Blood and Ian Lewis in that Razor team. The Behemoth boys are on top. Razor being toppled and turned again onto the flame pit. It'll get itself away from there, I'm sure. That is rising phoenix like from the flames, or is it? Can they get away from there? I don't think they can. I think that that wing isn't gaining sufficient purchase on the grid of the flame pit. They get a nudge, they're off now. They could be away any moment. There's something wrong here, you know, with Razor. And Razor has a history of mechanical breakdowns. And I think they've gone again. The beat, the Sremek, the self riding mechanism. No, they're OK, they're off and running. Oh, for a minute there, I thought they'd gone. And I think Simon Scott did too. Vincent Blood there, the bald head at the bottom of your picture. We know what he's like. Ever had a dinky toy when you were a kid? Vincent, when he was seven, built a car crusher to destroy them. That's what he's like. This is Razor, though. Crushing. Bam off the frame. And the bottom part of Bam off there is its most vulnerable part. Just peeling away the plating along the side. Popping and jumping now, look, Razor. And Behemoth pinned between Shunt and Razor, and in trouble. This is an epic final. Damage sustained by both, but it's Razor there. Pinning Behemoth down towards the CPZ, the corner patrol zone, the flags of St George on the top of Behemoth. An all-English final. Razor turns to come on the attack, now dances away from Behemoth. Spins again. Behemoth just waiting for Razor to drive itself onto the front scoop and trying to lift, but missing. Now Razor going around the side panel again to crunch down and peel away that side plate. The Pritchard boys trying to control BM off the way. Keep your distance. The sticker says, well, they haven't Six. kept their distance from Razor. And who's the winner here? What a wonderful final. What a fantastic final. While the judges make their decision, let's look at some of the highlights of Razor. BM off the World Championship final. Early on, Razor flipped up and over by Behemoth. Onto the flame pit. I thought it was out there. I thought they'd lost control and power. Very slowly trying to right themselves. Couldn't get up and over. Finally did. Took time, though. They were alive. And from now on in, Razor dominated the final. Causing problems and causing damage to Behemoth. That's the main damage sustained by anyone in this final. Behemoth tried to flip, but it didn't work. So back came Razor on the attack. Again, this time on the other side. Similar fate, though, crumpling and crashing. What a final. How close was this? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a decision. It's a split decision. Two to one. It goes to Razor! <laughs> champions, the first ever world champions of Robot Wars. And joining Philippa in the pits is Mark Thorpe, the godfather and creator of Robot Wars, to present the award. Thank you, Craig. Mark, this must be quite a moment for you. Is this a worthy first winner? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, I fell in love with uh, uh, Razor the first time I saw it, and uh, I've always thought of Robot Wars as an art sport, and this clearly, you know, demonstrates how that's, how that's you know, clearly true. 
It is. It's a beautiful robot with no further ado. We should present the winning team with their trophy. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks,